Hey, this is Cinderella from Pink Pensive. Welcome to another episode of my off duty diaries. In today's video, I'll take you with me to one of my favorite hangouts and dining spots in Makati. If you've seen my other videos, you would know that I like to take the walkway or the elevated footbridge along De La Rosa Street, which is very accessible from my office. For me, this is the easiest way to get to Greenbelt and Glorietta since you won't have to worry about crossing the streets or looking out for cars and you can hide from the sun if you don't want to get burned too much. A lot of people take the footbridge since there are offices and parking spaces that are also connected to this walkway. These video clips were taken back in 2021, by the way, in case you're wondering why I'm still wearing a mask and a shield. I'm doing the narration in 2024, but I filmed the clips back in 2021. So after several minutes, you can reach Green Belt. I like to chill at the garden near the chapel if it's quite early in the morning and the place is not yet crowded. It's kind of rare to find breathing spaces like this in the city, so aside from Ayala Triangle, this is one of the few spots in Makati where you can see some sort of greenery. Another thing that I like to check out when I'm here is the fish pond. Looking at the koi fish is just relaxing and hypnotic for me. After Greenbelt, there's another bridge that connects it to Landmark. I have to go through Landmark before I can get to Glorietta, which is where I'm going to have a meal.
I haven't been here in quite a while, maybe four months or five months now. And I'm gonna take you with me to the best curry in town. Let's go. This is how Japantown at the top of the glow looked like in 2021. They made some changes with the signage now. So up here, you will see mostly Japanese restaurants. I like almost all of them to be honest, but when I want Japanese curry, this is the only place I'd love to go to. They have different levels of spiciness for their curry, and this time, I tried level 4. Another thing that I like to do on those rare times that I'm out is to shop for books. I read mostly self-help and self-improvement books, but I also read other genres as long as they're written by my favorite authors. Well, that's it for today. I appreciate you sticking around until the end of this off-duty diary. I'll see you next time.